Mark. Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to this episode of Fresh Start TV. My name's Will, this is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Hi. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about some movies that are turning into video games, or sorry, video games that are turning into movies, uh, which is becoming more of a thing, I guess, uh, now. Kind of, yeah. Uh, Metal Gear, of course, is, is out, and uh, uh, we have some conversations about that and some Fallout 4 stuff, the Black Ops beta as well, so we'll be getting into all of that today. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about uh, some, I guess, Nintendo news, right? In not, a way, not sure. confirmed news. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Shovel Knight himself. First, let's preface this. We, we talked about this on our podcast this week. Checkpoint. Past week. Whatever. <laughs> Last week. And? Last week. Anyway, and <laughs> it was just a rumor at that time. Yeah. There was no, like, hard evidence, but Unseen64 said this is happening. Check it out. Which they're very popular for, you know, cracking Breaking Nintendo yeah. rumors and confirming things before they're confirmed. And sure enough, so, now, yeah. now we Yeah, and then what was it, there. Saturday? The day after we recorded, yeah. basically. Thursday. Thursday. Last Thursday. Yeah, because yeah. they're having their Nintendo the indie event. Coming as an Amiibo. And that's what it is. I mean, it's the first indie character that has now become First third-party character, not just indie. Yeah, I mean... Well, um, not sure. So what can we expect? I guess like I mean, uh, some party. kind of game on the Wii U, right? Yeah. Well, he's Shovel Knight's coming to the Wii U. Uh, it's coming to 3DS. Uh, on the, all consoles. Well, yeah, but on, on the Wii U and 3DS, now with the Amiibo support, you can scan your Amiibo in and unlock exclusively on Wii U two-player mode. Oh, nice. So you can play co-op cool. Shovel Knight. Yep. And then on uh, Wii U and 3DS, you unlock exclusive challenges only available on Wii U and 3DS and Cheers. customization tools. Very cool. So they said there's no support for first party games yet with Shovel Knight, like Smash Bros or Mario Maker or anything like that, but still in the air. Still thinking about it. Shovel Knight on your radar? Shovel Knight? Yeah, it's on my radar. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for it. I think it's already out. Um, you can play it. On PS4? Yeah. The, I didn't know that. You totally played it. it. Maybe it's not on his radar. <laughs> it's on his radar now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> now that it's on our show. so many games It's right true. Now. There's a lot of stuff There's out. so um, much stuff. The packaging is, is different, but very cool. I'm sure a lot of people will add that Amiibo to the collection. So there you go. Amiibo Collectors, another one to add to that. Uh, <coughs> moving on, um, Lionsgate is developing a Borderlands movie. So excited it's Lionsgate and not some place like... Do you want to hear the producer Bell. who's working on it? The guys that did... Um, Don't say Peter Jackson. It's not Peter Jackson. It's not Peter Jackson. It's the same guys that just did... Uh, Don't say JJ. That's not JJ. What? No, it's not JJ. I know the guy. You know the guy? Yeah. Like, personally know the guy? No, I couldn't call him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mind if I get the piece? Anyway, his name's like... Avi, um, Avi Arad? Yeah, the guy who did the Spider-Man movies yeah, and the, the X-Men. The, the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, not but he's still Sam not. Sam Raimi, the guy that did the first one. He's still not like before. a great producer. So you're not excited about the producer? <laughs> no, I mean when you see Borderlands, we talked about this a long time ago. What movies, we th what games we thought should be made into movies? Borderlands was one of mine. Borderlands would be a great movie. But well, it is being made into a movie as well as like you know, watch all Assassin's Creed. All Assassin's the Creed, they put out the first teaser image of Michael Fassbender as the assassin, which right. looks cool. Yeah. Uh, also, Nintendo is thinking <clears> about getting into movies now too, so we'll see how that goes. They but, did that once. But they're going to do it again. Everyone's doing it again. By the way, uh, we started off today's show talking about uh, Shovel Knight the Amiibo, and now Lionsgate's making a Borderlands movie. Once again, I'm Will, this is Nine. Yep. This is Gage. Still here. So, so. Randy Pitchford also came out and said that this is probably a rated R movie. So oh, that's it cool. It better be, based on the content of the game. <laughs> right. Is, I think as long as the producers and they get a good director in there with it as well, and they stick with a script that is approved by Randy and the script writers from Borderlands, I think we'll be in a good I feel position like for they, a good movie. They shouldn't focus on one or the other, but they should <coughs> focus on both comedy and action. It's got to be I mean, that type we of all thing. know that video games into movies is not good. No. And movies into video games are not good. Would you rather see this? I, so I mean, there's some exceptions, right? Very few exceptions. <laughs> would you rather see this movie as a full live action movie, or would you rather see it more animated like Avatar? Like a cross between the two, yeah. Like real people and then the CG with stuff. less with less live I mean, action you have stunts to have and things like that. CG stuff and because well, obviously yeah. you got. I mean, the, yeah. yeah, the characters are definitely gonna have to be like CG because they got the big mutated. But would you rather have a bigger budget for CG or just ready or just you know like a better? I like quality. an even mix. An even mix. Yeah. Well, that's, that's like an easy real, pick. Like the main characters could be real people and then. Do you want do you want cel shaded makeup or cel shaded digital effects? <laughs> Uh, probably everything cell shaded. Okay. Because I love the look of Borderlands. Sure. Love it. Yeah, I mean that was a big that, that was a big like, point. Well, that when was a first huge came out. turning point. Yeah, it was because when that game first came out and was first announced, it had like 
pre-rendered CG realistic looking graphics and then like three months later they flipped it over on its end and said hey this is cell shaded yeah and everybody that, was like that was what? a big deal because they didn't think they could pull it off in a first person shooter like that at the I time, think it saved their butt, by Call really, of Duty because there's so like much in that game <laughs> well now Tony Hawk's cell shaded so excited for that jeez no but apparently well, not there's a lot of people that are <laughs> who um, not on show. five course. people don't count <laughs> just because you're not Tony Hawk mean. and his kids <laughs> um I think, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how the movie comes out. I mean, Assassin's Creed we mentioned. Are you excited about that at all? Or? Yeah. It actually looks pretty I'm excited good. excited for more Assassin's Creed stuff. Yeah, it's I'm Assassin's Creed. I might like the movies more than the games. Yeah? Yeah. Like, Watch I can, get, I can get behind a good story in a movie. Cause I don't have, what know. about Bioshock, the movie? Oh, man. I can't wait for that movie. The movie's not being made. It'll get made. It might. It'll get Move made. Move on. <laughs> So, moving on, Forza 6 to include 460 cars. That is that's a, lot, that's of a lot of cars. So I my, saw the tweet that came out. Yeah, my question was, on average, the average Forza player, how many cars do you think they're going to use in this game? Well, how many cars do you use? I, would say. I, play, I play Forza regularly. I use about three. I was going to say five. <laughs> three of those cars? Yeah, I use about I was three. Saying, when I was playing Gran Turismo days, I was using 50, 60, 70 cars I that, would fill my garage with different cars just for I, different situations. I, I, I see your point, and I do think it's going to be only less because I agree. I mean, a lot I of people are going to want that customization, and they're going to want to stick to something that they're put time into, getting sure. used to driving, all that kind of and thing. And everybody's but, looking for their favorite car is all it really is. Right. Well, and then now so you have three. those options too. So for all those car enthusiasts out there, they can uh, you know get but 460 cars. That's a lot of time in development. It seems like padding. It seems, seems like unnecessary. Like <laughs> all right, we're going to be getting into Metal Gear Solid. Phantom Pain right after this. Woo! Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got done talking about uh, games that are being made in movies as well as Shovel Knight uh, getting his Amiibo and all that kind of stuff. Now let's talk about some Metal Gear. Uh, Konami <gasps> has come out and said that Metal Gear Solid is game of the year. Yeah. They Pretty came much. out and set it before the game launched. That yeah. Metal Gear is the game of the year. <laughs> of course, Konami said it. Their marketing team did come out and say that Metal Gear was game of the year. Was that fair to say before the rest of the world gets to play it? No. It's a little pretentious. I mean, it's out now. <laughs> Ask me. Well, I don't yeah. think you should come out and say that your game's game of the year. I think you should let other people decide if your game's game of the year. I think other yeah, people have decided that. Tell people, but... I mean, I don't think so. I mean, there's all, all the games of the year haven't come out yet, right? True. I mean, there's other games waiting. Yeah, and Black there's been Ball, some great Ball games out. already released. Um, oh, it's a huge contender for that title. Okay. Well, sure. I, I mean, uh, obviously, but, but you know, I mean, we're, what, in September now? September there's been a lot of good games that have already come out this year. So, But I don't think you should come out now. I'm not saying it's not a contender because it definitely is. Okay. But I don't like the fact that, yeah, you're right, it's pretentious. It's pretentious. It really, really is. Like, you know what? We don't no, care what everybody it's else It's confidence. Says. No, it's just egregious. Why would you come out and say our game's game? Just like how NBA players get the trophy tattooed on their arms before the season starts. Like, we're going to win the championship. This is our championship and trophy and our logo. It. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Yeah, Not every more time. than you would think. I know, it happened to the Celtics, and it was awesome. <laughs> Thank oh, really? you, Jason Were you on Terry. that team? No, man. I just, yeah. <laughs> it's just a mistake. But it happens. It does happen. <laughs> anyway, moving on. But Metal Gear is probably up there as like one of the top five games that's looked at I'm for sure the game of the year. Somebody will give it game of the year. I imagine that it's already been given out perfect tens through GameSpot's only given out like twelve tens ever, and they give it ratings. Yeah, on our show. I would Just say saying. you know it's like I said, without a doubt a contender for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I don't doubt that it's a contender, but. I just don't like that they came out. I don't like it. cocky developers. Yeah. Who would you rather say it? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody should say that. Why? Because you can't base that off of anything. Nobody but the developers and the testers have played the game. That's not true. The embargo is lifted on the 24th. People have been playing this game they put forever. Out some reviews and stuff like that. Still, I mean, you, you, all the games, well, first of all, haven't come out yet. Right? Sure. So we there are plenty Fallout. of other games come out. We haven't played Battlefront. I mean, we've played Battlefront, but I mean, like the rest of the world hasn't played. I don't Battlefront. think Battlefront's in that conversation for game of the year, though. I'm just saying, there's a lot of games that could be considered in that conversation. I, I think Battlefront surely left can, up to a fan vote. Battlefront's a contender. I, I, because it's a Star Wars. The point is, at the end of the year, they're not out yet. Mario Maker. I mean, I, next week um, could be, you know, absolutely, absolutely amazing choice right there. So we'll see. Um, 
I mean, uh, missing Metal Gear moments. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I wrote this down because this is the draw, the one drawback people are saying about Metal Gear. And, you know, we'll experience this, I'm sure, when we get to that far into the game. There's no Metal Gear moment. There's no moment where you're playing, like, a boss fight. Like Psycho like, Manus kind of moment? Yeah, a Psycho Manus moment. Or, like, or uh, an awesome <laughs> boss fight, like the end. There's no moment like that in this Metal Gear. Oh, so says that's who? a deterrent for me. See? Says who? Says people who have played the game and for a long time. There yeah. are people who have finished this game already. Our reviewers have already finished it. They've had the game for two weeks before he was even out. Um, Greg Miller was a big person who said that, like, you know, there's no Metal Gear moment, and if you want full story stuff, do the side missions. We'll but, see, like, Greg. I hope hopefully you're right, but I, 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 there's always usually a moment. But for me, a lot for you know Metal Gear Solid Three, the end wasn't a big deal. For me, it was sure. because I just had so much fun with it. But but that's a Metal Gear moment. That's but, what we're emphasizing. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, but we'll see. I mean, it can yeah. be left up to the per people that are playing. So yeah, hopefully yeah. there is. Uh, but all in all, a solid game. Uh, Metal Gear uh, vs. Fallout 4. So yeah, this goes back to the game of the year conversation. So go going back to the game of the year conversation. By the way, we are talking about uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Konami's come out and said that this game has been uh, is game of the year. They're the ones who said it, which is kind of interesting. Once again, my name is Will. This is Nine. Yo, this is Gage. Hi. So I mean. Other than Fallout 4, really quick, what other games could be considered the game of the year? I think I think Tomb Raider's going to be up there. Interesting. Um, Tomb Raider could be up there. <sighs> I tried to four has been pushed, so it's not I'm in my conversation. Po about. Well, it's coming out next Tomb year. Tomb Raider. I, I know. I'm just it's gone. Fallout 4 will be 2016 game. Uh, I, th sure. I think Halo 5 is shaping up to be a good one. Okay. Um, sure. The more I see on it, I can slightly agree to that, okay. but I don't see it's Halo, Battlefront, Fallout, Metal Gear, Bloodborne. I said, oh, Bloodborne? Bloodborne's in there, Witcher's in there, Batman's in there. Batman? Yeah, Batman, Witcher. I think um, Mario Maker should probably Rocket be in Rocket League. Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, no, I would put Rocket League in there. Dude, Rocket League I'd probably play that game more than any other game. Yeah. Copy. I just reached a million on Steam. So. Yeah. I mean, and, and we might be leaving one out. So probably. Probably oh, one We're one definitely missing of. something, I'm sure. Yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, but, but. You know, that's there's ten games that, that are in that conversation, I think. Yeah. That are all worthy of that conversation. I mean, do you think Metal Gear is game of the year? I mean, would you come out and say that? I don't know. I wouldn't come out and say it because of how many games I play throughout the September through December months. Right. <laughs> and there's a lot Until to come Dawn out. Until Dawn is another good contender in there. Yeah, yeah. Until Dawn's great. A lot of great reviews. Very well received. Um, I, mean, I won't say it's the game of the year yet. I'll, probably around November 21st, I'll have a game of the year idea. Okay. Yeah, I typically hold off on Game of the Year till the November games hit. Now, we did give a Fallout 4 Game of the Show at E3. Yes. Uh, yes. Which was a big reward from us, obviously our most coveted reward. Uh, so kudos to them. Definitely should be in that conversation as well. Absolutely. So we'll see. I can't uh, wait. Between those two games, I, I am completely tied. Uh, as, as of right now, as I'm saying this, tied. Because they're both so big, they're both so huge, they're both so well done. A lot of good things happening in both games, so we'll I'm see. I'm going to give the slight edge to Fallout 4 on that one, just yeah. because I have more of a RPG okay. fanatic sure. in me than just stealth, stealth. combat. Yeah, sure. I would probably spend more time with Fallout 4. Yeah. Um, that doesn't not make to say it a better game, though. Oh, sure. I mean, if, if I'm talking more time, <laughs> I'd spend 70 hours with Fallout 4, but 69 hours with Metal Gear. So, I mean, right. it's that close. I'm excited, super excited for both games. Yeah. I, I am right now. I'm down the middle, but once again, I haven't played, uh, not done Metal Gear, and I haven't even played Fallout 4. Can't wait to play that. What was your favorite Metal Gear up until now? I would say two. I two? Say solid. Solid? First one. I like the first Very one. Very first one. I like two. Because when I was playing it, my game kept screwing up, and I honestly, for a second, <laughs> thought that there was something wrong. <laughs> and I couldn't understand why it was pulling up all this other information. It was bizarre. It was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Obviously, we're talking about the best games of the year. You should definitely be playing these games, so I'm sure you're going to want to play both of those games. Anyway, uh, we'll have more for you right after this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We just got to talking about Konami saying that Metal Gear Solid was game of the year, which is interesting. We'll see what happens with that. Um, we still have some games to play yet. Uh, right now, we're going to get into Black Ops 3, but first, my name is Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Hi. Uh, so the beta, hopefully you guys have played it. We've played it. Um, Nine, like, uh, let's start with you. We, Gage and I have uh, <laughs> talked about this game before. Um, we played it at yeah. E3, we played the beta. You finally got a chance to play it. What do you, you think? You guys got to play it at E3, and now I'm really jealous that I didn't get to play it at E3. Oh, yeah? Because I loved the beta. You did? I thought it was awesome. It's well, such a fresh take on Black Ops, or on Call of Duty in general. Why do you right. say that? 
Uh, you're selected to a class now. You're mm -hmm. not just given free roam of whatever you want to do. Right. And you have to unlock your perks for that class with tokens. Sure. But everybody's on the same playing field. Yeah. Everybody can use their tokens for the same thing as the next person. Now, as far as <laughs> Ghost and Advanced Warfare go, um, the gameplay itself, how did it feel to you? It felt like Advanced Warfare, but I, I don't know if it was the beta or if it's just something wrong at the moment. <laughs> But when I was trying to vault over things, like I was sprinting and I'd try and vault over something, I felt like I hit a brick wall and stopped and then lumbered over it versus like what they were saying. You just vault over it and keep going, like, you know, whatever. Did you experience that? I did. Yeah. It, it doesn't uh, and feel I right, didn't, right? No, because I, I didn't play until, you know, recently. And I wanted to try out your method or what you were saying, so I would kept going through the same window over and over again. And it felt like... If I, if my window animation, everyone else was still running 60 frames per second, and my character slowed down like 25. Like you're getting taken out in that window. Yeah, like and I had no, I had zero to chance a crawl of when you tried to vault over something. Yeah. I don't know if it was just something wrong with the code. Is it trying to capture the actual physics of going through that motion, or well, but they, everything else, it's only vaulting over things. Yeah. Everything else works fine. When you double jump or if you backpedal with your backpack booster or slide, everything else runs like super fast, super smooth. And that was a women, everything. And that was yeah. a big thing they wanted to talk about was movement in this game where they where if you move, Ooh. they they you wanted to keep, you know, the action going. You wanted to be able to shoot your gun. So you can shoot your gun vaulting over things now, but I never have the ability to shoot the gun because I don't have a chance to turn and aim. Right. So anytime I vault over so something and a person's in front of me, I'm taken out. So maybe instantly. maybe that's why you go so slow, because it wants you to be able to shoot. But I didn't have a chance to. But you right. don't get a chance because by the time your gun is up over the edge of the, the windowsill, you're already taken out. I also thought it was a little slow. Hopefully it's a, it is isn't beta. Uh, well, hopefully they'll, they'll improve that a little bit. We'll see In two months till um, how it goes. Uh, what are the likes did you have with it? I love the weapons. Yeah? The weapons were really cool. I played the War Machine class okay. and I unlocked the grenade War Machine which is essentially a grenade launcher which shoots out a shell that breaks into five other shells and just obliterates anything it touches. <laughs> Some of the other cool ones I, I saw but I didn't get to play was the, the, the Tempest with the arc gun. That thing is awesome. Yeah. You can arc from like three different enemies and get three kills right back to back if you time your shot, shot right. And then the crossbow, the Outlander, that was cool. Is that the one, that was the bow and arrow one? That's the, that's that's the one the, I played. That's the bow and arrow yeah. chick, yeah. That was really, really cool. Now at E3, they had all of them unlocked right away, ready to go. Right. So I played Spectre, I think, which that, was the, I, I which was the robot. Yeah. 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 That one felt yeah. so overpowered, it wasn't even fair. It oh, was yeah. cool, because like his arm turns into like a cannon. <laughs> well, you could, mm -hmm. If you played enough in the beta, you could unlock the other classes except for the last class. Yeah, I didn't have the, that kind the, of time. The classified. Yeah. All right, we're talking about Black Ops 3, the beta. Once again, my name's Will, this is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Sure. Um, so we're talking about likes and dislikes uh, so far from the beta. Uh, what's the so, so we talked about the dislike of the vaulting and everything. Is there one thing, Gage, in your mind that sets this game apart from other Call of Duty games? Um, no. I, 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 I'm not a fan of the double jumping, the wall running stuff. I, I wish Call of Duty was still, you know, I, my two feet is on the ground. Uh, right around. around. So you right. want commando marathon sprinting? That's yeah, I'd want. rather have that than like everyone trying to fly around. And like, I get that they we're moving to like future settings of stuff, <coughs> but I don't like the whole pseudo future of like, whoa, you know, look at this crazy technology we have, or you know, you remember your favorite sci-fi thing? Well, here it is in war you situations. Know, I agree. I, I like the real weapons kind of thing. Yeah, I, I think you know that's actually not a bad idea for them, and they could have a map that where a lot of those things are disabled intentionally. Uh, uh, if there was more options for it, or I'm if there sure was like a, a bare bones that'd be cool playlist, like a throwback to all the other yeah. model warfare games uh, or Black Ops games or whatever it is, like a, some sort of competitive. I know one of the big focuses, and, and we talked to uh, the the gentleman from Activision about uh, uh, Black Ops Three competitive um, uh, aspects of the game, and they're focusing on esports and that kind of thing. So I know that was a big push for them. So the the vaulting thing could be a very big issue. Especially if yeah, in I competitive mean, gaming, but I'm sure we're not the only people that experienced it. Sure, All right. Or we could be. We could be crazy. We could be nuts. That's true. <laughs> we could be um, completely nuts. But I know that was a big focus of theirs was to make sure that they had everything fine-tuned so that you could have those good 
esports and and those kind of tournaments. So that's just an aspect, I guess, of the game with a double jump and all that. True, kind of and like I will say, that was a, a, it's a dislike of mine overall, but it's not like a terrible deterrent for the game because yeah. I still like what they're doing with the movement, right. where Advanced Warfare it was does feel jump, a double better. jump. That was my thing. I mean, what, my my biggest thing that I noticed right off the bat was just the game felt fluid. It mm -hmm. felt a little different. It still felt like Call of Duty just because of the way it was structured, but it just felt more smooth. I don't know. It just yeah. did. Yeah. And, and zombies, uh, we'll see how much more smooth <laughs> that is. I'm, I just had to throw that in there. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Uh, so excited. Yeah. You think you well? You think you'll be able to get all those abilities like that jumping bar through um, zombies to your wall running with oh, celebrities? Oh, I think they'll have all that in zombies. Oh yeah. Even the uh, gambling that's situation. That's part of the thing is escapability. 1960s. Yeah. Out of these tight spots and that kind of thing. Uh, I don't know, we'll if, I can, if I can double jump over zombies, it's probably going to take away my zombies experience away from me. No, because if you double jump them, then you really? can like, jump Give the zombies double jump abilities too. Let the zombies wall run. Zombies are quicker. Hey, the, the zombies in Advanced Warfare were had exosuits. Yeah. So. Yeah, I never played it. Yep. I didn't want to pay for it. I didn't want to pay money for yeah. it. I, I, I did play like it. I bought the game already. I did play it. It was okay. Something was off. It didn't feel like zombies. Just, you know why? Something was off. It wasn't Treyarch zombies. Yeah. Anyway. Just didn't, that's exactly why. I think we're about up. All right. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, check us out on YouTube.com slash PSVG TV. Um, and check us out on our new website coming soon, PressStartTV.com. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so very much for joining us. Until next time. Later. See ya. Bye, everybody.